But oh, well. <laughs> then they're, they're about to start. We have uh, Dill and John Numbers, a Rob versus a We Fit trainer. The typical, our typical mains for our our, our beloveds. Ho3k's own. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's funny. I, I feel like John is destined. It doesn't matter what what he does. He will forever fight a Rob in any every single Xeno bracket, yeah. whether it's going to be Zomba or Dill. It it he doesn't get a break, and you know recently he's been doing very well against Zamba, but uh, we're gonna see how he does against Dill because uh, I feel like I feel like uh, she's playing really well right now. And she's been playing really well consistently throughout the whole game, throughout the whole night. And uh, when going back with John Numbers and and Rob, we all know John Numbers has like a, literally a dialogue with Rob every time. But uh, besides the fact that John Numbers lost his first stock, I'm surprised he actually didn't change to uh, Sword Fighter. Like yeah. he usually does. Yeah, I, you know he's been having success recently with the Wii Fit. Um, mm -hmm. He, if I remember correctly, he's beaten Zamba like three out of the last four times that they played with Wii Fit. So, um, you know, so he's definitely found something with the Wii Fit, and I feel like he's gonna stick with it for right now. And um, right now, even though he's on the back foot, um, you know, he could bring it back a little bit. Wii Fit's a carnival character, so he racks up a lot of damage really fast. And yeah, grabbing that gyro and that soccer ball is gonna be really detrimental to Dill. Especially because uh, that's two percent that John's gonna have, and he has deep breathing on. Very, very scary for Doe if he comes off the ledge. Ooh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah just in case. Yeah. That re that punish for trying to <laughs> trying to do a soccer ball into Dill and then trying to get her to stage spike, but Dill was just not having a double a uh, double down air into Dill, uh, John's demise. And he's trying it again. He has to be careful because the first time he did that, it resulted in him losing a second stock at such an early time. Yeah, and you know that's you know I, I that's one of the things John has been doing better against Rob is edge guarding. But right now it, it's one of those things where it is a double edge sword, right? We saw John lose two stocks to that. And even though you're not afraid to lose stocks and trade stocks, but you know you have to sometimes need to pull back a little bit, you know? Yeah, you have to know when to when to use it and how and who to use it against specifically because Dill is. She's great on the off ledge as well, and she, as we saw in the second stock, she was able to reverse that that, that uh, situation that John put her in, and she just down air him twice into his, to no recovery and off his ledge. Yeah. But right now, both players in center stage trying to uh, do not really need to really um, approach as much as she has to because John is such a low, low, low bow advantage. Those Rob down tilts. Yeah, yeah, throwing out a lot of down tilts right now. Uh, just trying to keep John at bay, right? And and that's one of the things that you want to make Weefit do. You want to make, make Weefit approach, especially when she's out of deficit. Uh, and Rob is one of those characters where, like, you know, being out of deficit and Rob just throwing every single projectile at you is, like, one of the worst feelings in the world. Mm-hmm. Completely so agree. Ooh, numbers aim, aim able to at least get the second stock off of Dill clean. But yeah. he has a lot to make up for in order to really get this back to... Uh, to a more comfortable state for himself to get that kill. <gasps> and, and, and this is yeah. what, can, can we get can we get the hand of our sounds? Oh. Can, can, we get, can we get the hand of our sounds? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can, can yeah. Get? Can we? There's a lot of things that happen at once. Cause she looks so disappointed. She's just like, there's no way. Like, it hit numbers and then. <gasps> I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's so surprised that happened. Like, There's no way. It's ridiculous. That's a, that's you know that's that's the face that's the face of a uh, that's BGs my guy. That's definitely BGs. <laughs> that's a BGs my guy. That's BGs. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> awful. I, that's BGs with a side of salt my guy. Like, <laughs> I, I wish I would have seen John's face. I, I just I know he was probably just like a bro. <laughs> my own soccer ball. Yeah. Um, I, honestly, like John's story is just always finding out like what he does on the fist bump. That that's really what we're here for. Ultimately, we're here for the John Fist, but win or lose, right? Mhm. Mm Definitely what we're here for. <laughs> but yeah, sticking with the Wii Fit. Yeah, I'm surprised he died. He yeah, did. Yeah, I agree. Sticking with the Wii Fit. Um, but we get changed to we're going to Battlefield, and this is a stage where John John lows mostly because like he he labs a lot of these confirms that you could get a platform at zero, mm -hmm. and you could get a crazy percent at low a crazy amount of combos at low percent off of off of these um, platform conversions. Now the factor is that will Dill let him do such a such those combos and those trues. Oh I'm not able Oh he has deep breathing. Try doing it again. She got a little fatigue. But Dill consistently taking off 53% off of John numbers and John only ha uh Dill only having Queen's hand percent. Keeping him off the stage and at the ledge where she's more comfortable. Yeah. But also so is John, like you know so the the place where they're both more comfortable, it's just 
where they like to, where they like to be. Yeah, and this is also a situation I feel like John has has more escape routes with the platforms. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, John John feels more comfortable with that way. You know, trying to get his resources. But right now, Dill is just keeping oh, yeah. John at the ledge. Tried to get a read on the double jump. Didn't really. Kind of got the read, but didn't go for. Didn't really believe in it. Yeah, I didn't go for the the, the up the up air. Yeah, and that's and that's good from Dill. Just keep on the pressure, mm -hmm. making sure that you know that numbers doesn't get all his resources, doesn't get the deep breathing. But yeah, with but that being said, did. still got it. Yep. And got the forward. I'm sure John uh, Dill is gonna be able to take it right back and just set it right back to uh, neutral. If he's able to get even like even like uh, a rob up uh, a rob up air, a ooh, yep, the footstool will do it for John. Yeah, that, that, that's what, that's what we call the genius footstool, you know. Mm -hmm. You're you're mashing jump, you know, trying to just trying to try and get out the way. Oh, okay, and see, and, that, and that's what I'm talking about, right? If uh, Dill tech the wrong way, that was an easy 70%. <laughs> I think she also knows this because she plays against John so often mm -hmm. that she just knows, you know, don't do this or else he's gonna get his combo or, or that that I've been hit by before. But right now both players kinda of dancing around each other, uh still getting hit by John's uh projectile. Oof. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's one thing about the stage, right? If Dill's on the platform, it's gonna be a struggle for her to get down. I think that's what John John was making on the stage and every time Dill's on the platform, John has just been on top of her. And it's been very, very hard. Like this has been pretty much 80% where Dill has not landed or could, couldn't get a good foothold in neutral. Yeah, this, com this is a complete reversal of the first game where now John's in the advantage and Dill is kind of struggling to keep up. Oh, now if, if John is like, could, and again because of these platforms, he's like able to capitalize on those and do the things that he knows that we fit can do on these platforms. Yo, okay, the move, extra follow. Cue the move. Oh my God! Wow. Okay, don't. Good um, Spanish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Dill trying to get the stock. Um, you know, if Dill, if Dill can get the stock, you know, sub eighty percent, uh, she'll be in good shape. Yeah, I, I, I can definitely see her. If, she, if she's able to get numbers off the ledge again, and you know, do some of Rob's lasers, she could be able to eat, set his right back. Oh, oh, but just barely missing the up air. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah, and John and John just gain the resources, keeping up, keeping up the pressure. Yeah, trying that side, the uh, just the back there, but ooh, yeah, that'll be it. That's game. Yeah, and you know, and John is really good at when he has the lead. He's very good at playing around the gyro, mm -hmm. right? He very rarely, when he's in the lead, is is um really worried about gyro. He's also very good with the, with um items in general, but sp specifically the gyro, he's not afraid to play around with it. And in, especially in the lead, where you know the Dill's throwing out all these things to try to keep him at bay, he's almost like unfazed. Here it comes, yep, parry and punish. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, and that's a big thing against Rob. You have to like, you have to parry some of those nerves, right? You, you definitely have to. Just <laughs> because they'll throw them out so often, you, you have to. That's that's like her. Ooh. What the bubblegum KK? Oh god. How do we do? Who picked the song? No, as they should. Who picked the song? Can can we get a can we get a recount? Can we get a replay of who picked the song? <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, and we're going on town and city. Interesting choice. The platform's a little bit like altered, so instead of the top one being in the top, it's not now on, like, in the bottom middle. Ooh, I go I go hard for uh, Bubble Gum KK. It's such a good song. But right now, Dill keeping John over on off on the ledge, trying to rack up a good amount of percentage, and she has already 40% and 0% on her. Yeah, and, and this is the stage we could call it the side. Um, lot, you know, fairly easier than other stages, right? The the horizontal. Horizontal um, walls are like a lot closer. So you know, if you're a Rob, you definitely want to go for some um, rotor on cheese at some point. Great patience from John, make, uh, from uh, from Dill, making sure not to get hit by that soccer ball. But Ooh, so, yeah, yeah, gotta be careful. Yep, gotta be careful that we fit charged up uh, any of our attacks, but that down that spike was gonna could have been could have been lethal for Dill.
Yeah, and g actually good patience from Dill. Mm -hmm. We saw John narrowing in place, and yeah, and Dill is not falling for that bait. Like that's a, such an obvious bait. You get hit by that nair at that percent, you're eating like a good forty percent. Mm -hmm. It's just so detrimental for someone going against Wii Fit because her deep breathing can set this game 3-0 so fast. Because this is a, a good advantage she has when she has her deep breathing on. Yeah. As explained to me by John Numbers earlier. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, and good and good SDI and good DI by John. Loving both both of um, the up air and the back air. Oh yeah. That platform really just didn't do John good <laughs> because he, he landed like on it like unexpectedly and then the and the lag from um, recovering just made gave get Dilla, uh, Dilla free uh, stock. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but now yeah now Dill's up a stock and we're gonna see how John now John reacts and how you know how far that Dill can take the stock right because this is one of the, this is one of these situations where, like if you go down a stock like this against Dill on Town and City like it it could be pretty bad for you. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, good match out of that grab, but uh, Dill was able to keep John. Uh, oh my God, their names. Keep Dill. Keep John out of the uh, off the ledge. Yeah, and John going deep. Ooh, Dill going to their side. And wow, it un un <gasps> unironically Rob died because Rob was big, right? Yeah, unironically. <laughs> no, you're right. Rob's big head peeked over the platform, got hit, and then lost the stock. And now Dill's at 37% just because Rob is big. It's because Rob's head decided to say peekaboo. Yeah, but that was a good stock, stock by John, and that's why he's been so aggressive off stage, right? Mm -hmm. Like, even though even though Rob is one of those characters that can stall pretty long off stage, Weefit's also a character that has enough floatiness and, and enough um, moves in the air that can keep pressure on Rob even from far distance. One of the only one of the few characters in the game that could do that. No, John has deep breathing, trying to get that second stock off of Dill, but I mean they're both at really high percentage. Either one can really die. Yep. Yeah, and, and that was you know what? That was one of the first times that Dill's punished this punished that old set, because you saw John was doing that pretty much like, you know, the nair dodge into the ground. Yep. And that was the first time. What way to pull it out. Um one of the last stocks in the set. And yeah, the numbers has to be really careful with that volleyball off the stage into, uh, into um, like a stage spike time situation because last oh, time it was a complete reversal and they was able to take a stock of him from like, I believe like last game so he really has to be careful with this the playing with the edge but that doesn't matter because both players are kind of trying to stay I lied because they keep going on the off the stage I'm trying to talk about them being on the stage thanks guys thank you for helping out John 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 will never stay on the stage right like, like I was just, okay they're too much too much off the stage let me talk about them being on stage and then they're off stage again like uh, how dare you thank you <laughs> thank you thank you for going back to neutral I appreciate it thank you guys now we can all discuss how they're throwing the projectiles trying to get a little bit of a combo star going and still getting that combo star maybe even finishing off oh no a little bit a little bit too far yeah and you know honestly at this point John really has to go for these right he's down by a lot that 100% Dill's still at 119 on her second to last stock right and you need to put some pressure on and right now Dill is like not having it I'm so you oh. know, oh, yes, yeah. Oh, we got the fist bump. Hey, but can we can we see that? Can we see that 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 ex that ex controller yank? Yeah, can he we? Used, he used all his meter on that. Oh, his he, he used he he used, he used all his meter on that. His risk gauge is pretty high. He he just like ex enhance ex. Yo, he used all his meter, bro. <laughs> And the hair flip, and then imme she she wasn't even ready for it. She was like, "Huh?" Hey, but look, I'll say this: nice fist bump. Fist you got the fist bump. You got the fist bump. Yeah, usually usually you get one of these. You get the. You get like the the, the limp. The, we're like, we're yeah. very proud of you, John, for giving a good fist bump. Uh, double deuce. Thanks for the follow. Um, hey, so we got two dollars and seventy cents on the matrino. That means one person did the matrino so far. One person. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Wait, I'm dumb. Thank you. The rest <laughs> of you guys. Spelliamus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Bro, so match arena now. Do it. Do it. While we do these ads, match do arena. it now. Well, like a ban if I do a finger gun in the camera, is that bad? Wait. You know. Production. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. 